Hi everyone, it's Glenn from OK Use Mods with a quick tutorial on how to use Color Scale for Farming Simulator 2022. Color Scale is not to be confused with Color Mat or Color Materials, which are used for vehicles. Color Scale is what Giants is using for Farm Sim 22 to make placeables colorable. In my example, I'll be using Blender 2.79B with the Giants Material Editor and i3D Exporter already installed. Blender 2.79B is an older version of Blender, but I think it still works very well. In the description below I'll include a link to the Blender website as well as a tutorial that I found on how to install the add-ons. For this example I'm just going to use a basic cube, but you could use any design that you'd like. I add edge split to my designs. It tends to make the objects not look so bubbly when you bring them into Giant's Editor. Expand the page and give another perspective. Then go into the UV Editor. Expand again and go into the Giant's Material Selector. From here I'm going to Smart Unwrap the object, and I usually give Island Margins of 0.03. On the UV Editor side, select everything by hitting A, and then move it to the left one time. Now you're going to apply a material. The name here doesn't really matter, I'm just going to use Color Scale Test. Then go into Object Data and add an additional UV map. From here you just need to save. Save it somewhere you're going to remember it with whatever name you would like. Quite a slow typer. Save. Now you're going to export as an i3D. Again save it somewhere where you're going to remember where it is and remember the name. Let's go ahead and open our cube using Giants Editor 9.0.2. Here's our basic cube. I'm just going to get rid of the smoothness and shininess and just set those to 0, 0. Now we just need to apply the materials. Under Gloss Map, you need to locate the shared file for a Farming Simulator 22. This is the path right here. And you're going to select Default VMask. And hit OK. Now apply the Normal Map. For this, we're also going to use just the default Normal. Hit OK. Under Custom Shaders, you're going to locate the shared shaders file and use building shaders. Under variation, select color scale. Now you'll notice that you could change the color under color scale zero. You can make it any color you want. Then go to file, save as, Select where you want to save it. Do not save it in the Farm Sim 22 main folder. And you want to save it as a binary i3D file. Otherwise, you're going to get an error. Any name you'd like, just remember where you save it and hit save. Because this is just a quick example, I'm going to go ahead and import this cube into an already working shop that I have in Farm Sim 22. I'm going to open this in Giants Editor, which I'm currently running 9.0.2. You're just going to go to File, Import, and import that i3D file that we made earlier. Then I'm just going to move it into an obvious spot. I'll grab the cube and drop it in the main transform. Don't forget to hit save once you've added this in. Now we're going to work on the XML coding. For this I use Notepad++ which is a free program you can get online. I located an in-game garage with the coding we need in order to make our placeable colorable. So what we'll do is copy this coding and then we're going to bring it into our old garage and paste it into there.
We're only going to need one of these nodes. This was trying to color several different things on the last mod. We'll just rename this something simple. It doesn't really matter what it's named. And in the I3D mapping, we're going to add a line in here. Let's just copy this line and paste it and then change the name to match that new node we created. Let's go back into Giants Editor, find our cube, and then we're going to take the node path or index path and paste it back into our XML coding. This now tells the system that we want that cube to change color in game. Don't forget to save it. Then I'm going to grab all these and compress them. Rename it something. Anything will work. And we'll go ahead and put this in game. Now that we're in game, let's go ahead and load in our building with that cube out front and see that it works properly. Here's our building. Bring it over here. As you can see, the cube is up front with the first color on the list, that green color. And we could change the color just like we can on any placeable that offers color select. So let's select one and place it down. I selected the yellow cube. My recording's a little choppy, but the game runs smoothly. As you can see, the cube was successfully colored yellow using the color select feature. If you don't want to use the base game colors, you could also make your own by entering custom red, green, blue values in the XML coding. Once again, I'm Glenn with OK Used Mods. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want to see more in the future, don't forget to subscribe and tell me what you think in the comments below.